Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter to you guys. It is the 21st of April, which means it is time for episode four of Keto Diaries. Um, coming at you today, it is Easter Sunday. Um, I've been on keto since April 1st and I'm doing pretty well. So let's get the numbers out of the way. This week, um, I did pretty good. I weighed in last week at 218.1 pounds and weighed in this morning at 216.4 pounds for a total loss of 1.7 pounds this week and a total monthly loss so far of 6.8 pounds, which in my book is not bad. So we're doing good. Um, been a pretty good week. I took the girls to their school ice cream social this week and I cheated. Yep, I cheated, I cheated. I had a small piece of cake. If it makes anybody feel any better, it was very sugary and disgusting. Um, I didn't realize cake was that sugary. It was pretty gross, I didn't like it. But the next morning, let's just say my stomach and my d digestive system did not like me very well. Um, I felt sick pretty much most of the day that day. So I learned my lesson. Don't cheat on keto unless you're prepared for the consequences. But all in all, I had a good week. I started incorporating the gym into my workouts, which has been really awesome. I'm still doing yoga, but I have incorporated the gym as well. I'm going four days a week. Two days are cardio only, and the other two days are strength training. One day is upper body strength training. Second day is lower body strength training. And I've discovered a new love, some new favorite drink of mine on the keto diet. Sparkling ice water. It is so good. I've tried the black cherry. This is black raspberry. I tried kiwi strawberry this morning. My grocery store, because I only bought three yesterday when I went grocery shopping because I didn't know if I would like them. Because I didn't like the LaCroix. It tasted disgusting. Um, Ice Mountain was okay. It has a little bit of the seltzer taste in it. So I was like, mm, I don't know. But then I picked this up yesterday. It is my new favorite thing. Absolutely love it. Zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar. My miracle drink for when I want something sweet. And I also learned through my um, carb manager app that, because today is Easter. And let's be real, it's going to be hard to eat keto on a holiday. But I'm going to do it. Um, we are having prime rib from our cow that we got and I made deviled eggs. Now I prefer my deviled eggs with Miracle Whip and normally I've been using real mayonnaise this month but I scanned that Miracle Whip label into my carb manager app and discovered lo and behold I can have Miracle Whip so I'm doing a little party dance right now. So that's going to be awesome. Um, so technically the only thing, because I am not going to have any rolls, despite loving bread, I will not have them. They are not coming onto my plate. The only thing that is going to be a little heavy in the net carbs is the mashed potatoes. And I will not take very much of those either. Um, I've done really good today so far with my fat and protein and net carb intake. We are at, gosh, I don't know, just after one o'clock in the afternoon and I've only had two net carbs today. So go figure. Um, it's been a good week. My husband is home this next week and he came home and this morning he looked at me and he says, wow. He says, I know you haven't lost a lot of weight yet. He says, but you just look better. You look happier, and I am happier. 
So that is that. But um, no, my moods have been awesome. My sleep has been awesome. My activity is good. I'm starting to get the hang of eating. It's a it's a learning curve. Um, eating things that you can definitely have. But today I'm not going to overindulge. Potatoes, I found out, are the only thing that I'm going to have today that's not going to be that great for keto. But I'm going to have it in a small portion because I really want to have it because it's Easter. And I've done really, really good so far. So, that is how everything's going. Um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this series. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, guys. From my family to yours, happy Easter and stay strong.